these little treat boxes are so fun and easy to make and really don't require a lot of supplies. Um, this one I'm closing with a paper, actually paper clip in the shape of a hanger. And a lot of stores sell these in all different shapes. It holds a good handful of candy. Um, this one I'm using a small little clothespin. Um, you could also put a little hole here with a hole puncher and thread a ribbon through and close it with a bow. Uh, so what you choose to do is up to you. I'm using um, Scenescapes paper by Lavinia and a few uh, Lavinia stamps to decorate the treat boxes with. Let me go through the supplies. Uh, these I purchased uh, and the paper clip too at a local craft store. Pencil, scissors. I always keep my uh, Signo Uniball white handy in case it needed. I'm also going to be using the Nouveau glitter markers that Del Bello Designs has on their website. Um, many different colors, just check them out. Here I've chosen some greens, blue, and a uh, lemon yellow color. Um, I'm also going to be using, most likely, some glitter uh, pens. These are Signo Uniball glitter pens from Del Bello Designs. The scenescapes that I've chosen to use for this particular box is called Tranquility. And this six by six inch sheet will do the entire box with even a little uh, piece left over. The stamps I'm going to be using are Lavinia 589 Mystical Swirl, Lavinia 623 Mini Flutter, 444 the Mini Flutter by, 214 the flower in the mini size, um, 720 Bella, 753 the small Olivia stamp, and 688 the fairy charms. And this is just what I've chosen to put here to decorate this paper. Actually, it's beautiful as it is and could be used this way, maybe even with a happy birthday or a thank you uh, stamped onto this as a small sentiment. Up to you. I've also am going to use um, a sheet of paper that cord it's actually a heavy card stock 110 pounds that coordinates well with uh, my particular designed paper here. And this is cut to 10 uh, by five and three quarter inches. We will score this. So I'm going to be needing a scoreboard with my bone folder. Um, I've chosen a 12 inch piece of ribbon that I think will go well with this little box to decorate it. And also uh, glue dots I'm gonna use to hold the ribbon onto the treat box. I have a, a corner rounder punch and there are so many companies that put this out, they're all over the place. Um, I'm going to be using um, stamp blocks to put my stamps on. So whatever you use to mount your stamps will be fine. The <clears throat> inks I'll be using are all Versafine Claire, Medieval Blue, Paradise, Purple Delight, and Fantasia. And I think that's it for the materials. My first step is going to be to score this heavy base weight cardstock. And along the 10 inch side, we're going to score it at one half inch, three and three quarter inch, five and one quarter inch, and eight and a half inch. Then I'm going to turn it along the five and a quarter inch side 
and I'm going to score it at one and a half inch, four and a quarter inch, and five and one quarter inch. Now, you'll see that um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a score line here. So you've got a small piece that had been scored here. And the one on this side is larger. The one at the top is thin, small. And this scored section is larger. Holding it this way, I've actually gone through and marked the parts that I'm going to be cutting out. So I'm going to cut out three rectangles at the top. I'm going to cut out a rectangle on the lower left. I'm going to cut notches and make a tab here in the middle. And I'm going to notch this a little bit to make a tab over on this end. So for the next step, I'm going to fold in and, bur <clears throat> and burnish the parts that I just scored and cut. And what I want to do now is I'm going to round off these four little corners up at the top. And to do that, I'm carefully folding in the paper. Now this is uh, going to be ready to decorate in a few moments. Next, I've taken this six by six inch piece of Seanscapes paper, and I'm going to cut it so that <clears throat> this is three inches by two and a half inches going up. And here's the other three inches by two and a half inches. These two pieces are going to be used to decorate this part of the treat box. Then these two pieces up here, one and one quarter by two and a half, one and one quarter by two and a half, will be used to decorate the two sides of the treat box. These small strips at the top are cut right here. They're the same with three inches, and they're three quarter inch tall. So I'm going to take a moment now, go to my paper cutter, and cut these pieces out. Okay, so I've cut my Seanscapes paper, and this is the uh, piece that's left over that I'm not going to be using on this project. These will make up these two will make up the main part of the box. So I'm going to decorate them a little. And th since these will be continuing, this will be above this piece, I can even put my design so that it overlaps both sheets. Starting with Medieval Blue, I'm going to take... 
There she is, Olivia. There. Now I'm going to stamp her like this. I love to keep the wings intact so that I get to color them with my glitter pens. I'm going to just hold this down a few moments, let this ink absorb, and there we go. All right, on the other one, I'm going to do <clears throat> Bella, also in medieval blue. I don't want, I'm going to try not to touch these because I don't want the ink to smear if it's not dry yet. Fantasia. I'm going to use the Mystic Swirl Stamp. And I'm going to just use the edges of this stamp just to put a little interest a little design there and i think that works out beautifully this is one of my favorite stamps because not only can you use it as in the entire stamp but you can just use parts of it to fill in and even on envelopes this looks great Then I have this um, Fairy Charm set, and I think I'm going to use the one with the little blue bell hanging down. And I'm going to put that in Paradise. And I really love to use my stamp, so I'm not finished yet. I'm going to take a few butterflies and flowers and sprinkle them here and there. And we'll make it look like Bella is watching the little butterfly. Um, I'm going to get all my glitter pens of handy here. Okay. And these are liquidy. You shake them up, you tap them down, and this is sort of like glitter ink. Let's see if I can show that nicely on this. This called this is called peppermint cream. This color is called iced ivy. Ooh, that's a beautiful emerald. This is called Lemon Drizzle. 
It's a very golden color. I'm not I'm not too sure how the camera's going to be picking this up, but you could see how really uh it's not like loose glitter, but it is a very glittery sheen. It does have a glittery sheen to it. I'm just going to see what this will look like if I color through. Ooh. Gee, I like that because I can still see the ink lines through, through the glitter. Wonder if that'll work with other colors as well. Um, I have so many of these. This is Raspberry Tart. It's pretty. And Arctic Blast. Okay, let me clean up a moment. I'll be right back. Of course, in the beginning of the video, I forgot to mention that I'm going to be using the Art Glitter Designer Dries Clear Adhesive with a micro tip. Of course, we always need glue, right? Sorry about that. It will be listed at the bottom of this video with all the other materials used, the measurements, the score lines, and everything. All right, so I'm positioning it like so and i'm going to glue these decorative panels on onto my box There we go. I'm going to turn it around and this tab will be bent up. These two tabs we will glue and they will go, um, they will be glued onto this tab that I'm facing up. Okay, one and two, like so. This is going to be on the bottom so that it cleans off the bottom. And I should mention that if you decide um, that this is going to be the front, then this would be the tab that you glue down lastly to make the front nice and rounded. This is going to go to the inside. Sometimes a bone folder gives you better reach inside, so I can push down the tab that I just glued. All right, then I'm going to glue the bottom one. Okay. 
and I'm going to push these in like like those cardboard milk cartons that they have at school. There we go. And lastly, I'm going to attach a bow on the top for decoration. I'm going to make a double bow. Um, so I'm going to wrap this around my two fingers once, all the way. A second time, all the way. I'm going to shoot that edge in here. And then I'm going to bring it around. In here. This is the part that I'm going to pull. This, this uh, edge, this end of the ribbon right here. There you go. And I'm going to use some of these little blue dots to attach my bow. So here's my finished product. It probably took about 10 to 15 minutes to make. It was quite fun. Here are the other two that I made, also using Scenescapes by Lavinia. And uh, these have some uh, cardio stamps and some Lavinia stamps on them. And there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up.